yellow demon gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this gnome with the bean craze, awaken it, and become pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us improve our videos. Where the echoes slam. Oh, there it is. Passing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hi, guys. I am so excited with this race because finally, I can combine it with the Buddha fruit and see a fast or quick moving Buddha. Okay, guys. So let's start. But first off, in order to evolve the Mink race into V2, the requirement is level 850. So again, we cannot dodge the grinding phase, which I'm really good at. <laughs> okay, so guys, head to the first sea, and we are going to the final island to continue grinding. Yes, the Fountain City, the Galley Pirates. So guys, just use your M1 left clicks. Yes, we are going to use combat until we awaken this race. Okay, so just keep on using your left clicks, blah, 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 blah. I said I'm going to make this fast, okay, because we're just going to use left clicks until 775. After that, we are heading back to the second sea. So, middle town, right? Experience captain, and here we are. <laughs> okay, so next up, our target, Swan Pirates. So guys, from here on, we're gonna stay until we reach level 850. So, same strategy, again, just left clicks. Guys, I'm telling you, this is one of the best fruits to grind with. There you go, aside from the magma fruit. So there you go, guys, 850. Next up, is the cafe Bartillo quest right there you go he will ask you to defeat again 50 swan pirates so we're gonna fast forward this part there you go after defeating 50 swan pirates next stop is jeremy the spring fruit user this is part of the Bartillo quest and not like the other mobs you need to like use your dash here to avoid getting damaged much there you go so after this one off to the coliseum you need to finish the puzzle there you go, under the arena. There you go, the puzzle here. Y, X, and C. Here you go, and S. And to the left, there you go, M, F, N, and B. If done correctly, you will get a warrior helmet. And now you can start doing the V2 main quest. So guys, head to the green zone. Look for Alchemist. He will ask you to find three flowers. Okay, three flowers. And check this out, guys. I found the red flower just near him in this area okay you can only find this flower at day okay the red one next stop uh, if you want to find the yellow one just defeat one pirates also make sure to get quests so that you can hit two birds with one stone right grind and also get flowers there you go that's flower number three okay so that's the yellow one for the blue one guys you can only find it at night so I found a blue flower in this island go on top and there it is okay after this we are going back to the alchemist and aside from giving him the flowers you need to pay him 500 000 bellies what a greedy NPC anyway the benefits of evolving your race is that it will enhance your dashing speed cooldown and cost next target guys we need to reach level 1000 in order to start the v3 quest so we're going back to the Swan Pirates and grind until level 925, okay? So after this, we are moving on to the green zone and defeat Fajita until you reach level 1000. Guys, you can do server up here or if you are having a hard time defeating Fajita, you can just head to the graveyard island and defeat zombies. Okay, so at level 1000, you can start the V3 main quest but since Snow Mountain is near, I decided to grind first. So we're gonna defeat Snow Troopers until we reach level 1150. Same strategy, we're gonna use M1 left clicks. There you go. So after that, 1150, we're gonna start the V3 main quest. So how do you start it? Head to the Kingdom of Rose. Head to the mansion. I'm just showing you that you cannot start it without defeating Swan. So here it is, the secret passage to the NPC arrow. So check this out, greetings sir, click it guys, you are not yet prepared. So again, you need to beat Swan, and to do that, you need to head to the mansion. Also, you need a fruit that costs 1 million or more. Talk to Trevor, and after that, he will give you passage or access to Swan's room. Okay, so we gave him a quick fruit. I think this one costs 1 million bellies. 
correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So here we go. Guys, again, it's very easy to defeat this boss, but make sure to dodge because once it transforms, I'm gonna show it to you guys. The damage is kinda high. And again, Buddha Fruit is really big, and <laughs> there's a high chance that you will catch most of his attacks. There you go, 4,000 damage. We almost died, but we were able to survive and defeat him. Guys, that is the requirement. Now back to Arrow. For the quest, he will ask you to look for 30 treasure chests. So guys, areas that has lots of chests, the cursed ship, there you go. Mm, aside from that, the raid area in the hot and cold, yes, there are lots of chests here. In one area, here it is. Next area is the Forgotten Island. Check this out, lots of chests here. Guys, you can also use this areas when you are looking for the face of darkness finally the ice castle there you go okay so once you get 30 chests there you go you will need to pay him again 2 million bellies title godspeed you will unlock the agility every time you activate the skill this will make you run a lot faster okay so now head to the hot and cold continue grinding guys defeat smoke admiral you can do wall strat here yes if you want to play Mobile Legends while grinding, right? You can use the wall strat. There you go. You don't need to move. Use auto clicker if you want. There it is. Okay. Again, you're going to do server hop until you reach level 1250. After that, guys, curse ship. Oh, we reached 1251. Anyway, curse ship. And guys, check this out. Did you see that? I think this is an ice fruit user trying to attack us. So let's cool down for a minute. Avoid him. Okay, remove the in combat mode and start grinding again. But sadly guys, he attacked us again. So what should we do guys? See that? Now I am sure that he is deliberately attacking us. Bro, you're an ice fruit user and I am a Buddha fruit user. What do you want to do? Check this out guys. So we're gonna left click him to death. <laughs> See that guys? <laughs> okay, anyway. Focus on ship deckhands until 1350 guys you can do wall strat again and if ever that ice fruit user comes back I will again punch him to death. <laughs> Moving on next area is the ice castle. We're gonna grind arctic warriors until 1425. So again guys same strategy we're gonna make this one fast okay 1425 is our target here next stop the Forgotten Island. We're gonna defeat Sea Soldiers until 1450. Guys, I'm making it faster because everything's the same. Next up, Water Fighters. This is rare, right? We're gonna do this until 1500. Because again, Buddha can defeat any mob in the game. Okay, so again at 1500, continue the Coliseum quest by heading back to the Coliseum, talking to King Redhead, and you're gonna need to fight Indra. Don't worry, just 50% HP is needed for you to damage. Yes, you don't need to defeat him, don't worry. We will have another time for that. So after doing or damaging him enough, you can now head to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and this NPC will send you to the third sea. Okay guys, so now finally, time to start the race V4 quest. First thing to do is beat Indra in the sea castle. So again, you need God's Chalice. Plus 3 legendary hackies, so I use my main account again to start the battle of gods. So guys, you need to damage him at least 10%, I think. Okay, so let the other players do the damaging. Okay, after that, beat the Doe King and get the Mirror Fractal. So guys, you need to defeat 500 mobs here. Talk to Drip Mama to check your status, 486. So guys, just by defeating mobs here, you can decrease the number. Check it out. There you go. Okay, 479. So again, fast forward it until you defeat 500 mobs. Next, you need Candy Chalice. You can get that by getting God Chalice plus 10 Conjured Coco. Guys, take note that the one holding the Candy Chalice should start the raid. There you go. So again, same with Endra. You need to at least damage 10% of each HP. There you go. So it's kind of hard. But again, fast forwarding. Finally, we got the Mirror Fractal. Next stop is the hardest part of Awakening a race. Guys, the Mirage Island. Again, you need to find it in a full moon. So guys, I was able to find it and the full moon is almost done, finished. It's almost down. I'm gonna show it to you. First, 
Use fast mode, head to the peak, and use your skill. Guys, check this out. The moon is almost done. It's almost down, so after resonating, it took me 28 seconds to find the gear. Again, guys, 28 seconds only. Check this out, guys. We just got lucky because after getting the gear, I think just 7 seconds. Check this out, guys, okay? So that you found a weird artifact, direction to the Temple of Time. Check this out, guys. Just 5 seconds. See that? Full moon ends. <laughs> anyway, basic. We've been awakening races. So it's Napaka basic, okay? Now head to the great tree. And on the very top of the tree, there's an entrance. This is the entrance to the Temple of Time. Now guys, with the gear, you can now pull the lever. And by pulling this lever, you can now head to the room where you can awaken your race. Okay guys, time to awaken the mink race. So you can only do the, all of these things while on a full moon, okay? Think of that. So look for two other players with two different races and use your race skill in front of your door trials. So for the mink race, this is a trial of speed. So there's a maze. Guys, the first parts or the first trials are really easy, but on the fourth or fifth or sixth trial, it's really hard. Try it, guys, if you want. This one's the hardest trial for me. But I'm gonna show it to you the first one. This is the first one, which means it's really easy. Also, you only have one minute to finish the trials. Even though it gets harder, the time is still the same. Also, you need to take note that your friends, your other two players, should also finish their own trials. If not, you need to repeat it again. Also, some tips, you can do the trial, uh, like, not just once, every full moon. So make sure to make it fast. There you go. You still have 25 minutes, seconds, sorry, not minutes, seconds. Next up, you need to fight the two other players. Just tell them to reset. <laughs> and after that, you can now head to the ancient clock. This is the location of the ancient clock. You can now walk through the stairs, and that's it. Okay guys, so now after this, I will be talking about the gears. The first one, guys, you can transform, okay? This is transformation, just click it. Okay, gamer gnome, so how do I transform? There will be a new bar under your energy bar. There you go, check that red one. So once this one is in full or at max, you can push your Y button and your character will transform. Okay, you will have full stats, all gun, sword, everything every time you're transformed okay so next up let's talk about the two gears the red and the blue gear because this gears has passive skills that will help you get stronger okay so first one let's check it out i'm gonna talk about the blue gears okay so blue gears leaves the tornado behind when dashing so upgrading it will make the tornado bigger so guys let's try it so every time you push your q or your you dash there you go, check it out, the tornado. So guys, every time you push your Q, you dash, there will be a tornado. So you can spam this one, there you go. This will stun your enemies, even in PvP. Oh guys, this one really looks cool, there you go. And if you're gonna ask me, this is the better one. You should upgrade this tornado, not the red gear. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you the red gear later and let you decide. Okay, there you go guys, as you can see, I'm spamming the Q. And there is damage. That one is also good. For the red one, guys, allows you to supercharge. Okay, so again, the red gear is about charging. So you will have longer and faster dash. But if you upgrade it, you can hold the Q for a longer dash. So I'm going to show it to you. Check this out, guys. The tornado is now small. But in exchange, you will have a hold Q dash. See that, guys? That's a lot longer. There you go. But there is no damage. So if only there is a damage, this one is really good. So guys, again, it's up to you to decide what do you want to upgrade, and I hope that you enjoy this video. So guys, that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.